It's the time right now. Tensions growing in the Middle East. Uh, this morning with fears that Iran could soon launch a full scale attack on Israel. And these tensions have been evident here at home and across the United States. Just a few weeks ago, protesters took to the streets of the district. You'll remember when Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu visited and vandalized some key DC landmarks. Police are still looking for those people and more protests were seen over the weekend outside a fundraising event in California for Vice President Kamala Harris demanding their voices be heard. And here at home in Montgomery County, anti-Semitic graffiti was found yesterday on a local elementary school. And he joins us now in studio with a new threat of violence. Multiple sources say an Iranian attack on Israel could happen any day now. Very yes, frightening. Very frightening. And we are keeping a close eye on this. This is something that's been worn for the past week and a half, ever since the political leader of Hamas was assassinated. But the Pentagon says the threat is increasing. Israeli intelligence services see more and more preparations in Iran and by Hezbollah in Lebanon for some sort of a joint or coordinated attack against Israel. Now, Iran supports Hezbollah in Lebanon and Hamas in Gaza, and those groups sometimes serve as Iranian proxies. All three groups say that they want revenge on Israel for the assassination. The Pentagon says U.S. Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin has ordered a guided missile submarine to the region. He is also accelerating the transit of a carrier strike group. Meanwhile, pro-Iranian militias in Iraq are threatening to retaliate if the U.S. targets Iraqis on their country's soil. And Allison and Wisdom, they're also warning warning the U.S. not to use Iraqi airspace for attacks on Iran. So again, threats increasing. We're going to keep a close eye on this as, as things develop. Right. All right, that happening overseas. Um, here at home, let's get back to those hateful anti-Semitic messages that were spray painted outside of a Bethesda school. Police are still trying to figure out who did it. Here at WUSA 9, we like to focus on the impact that incidents like this have on the community. Just hours after the messages appeared, local families came together with scrub brushes, paint, soap, water to erase the hate put out into that community. Obviously, you know, we're, we're all pro-peace, but we can't do it in a hateful way. I sent Dad and them to Home Depot to pick up some cleaning supplies so that they could help clean it up. Yeah. Because that's not how you get a, a message across, not with hate. Now, so far, police don't have anyone in custody. And if you know anything about this, you're asked to please contact Montgomery County Police.